Good morning, besties. It is day 30 on EB Isle. I cannot believe that we finally made it to the end of the series. I shouldn't say finally because it's honestly been such an incredible journey so far and I have been loving connecting with you guys every day and sharing my progress on this island. It's a little bit bittersweet to be on day 30 today because I have really loved the daily uploads, but I am so excited to continue progressing on this island. Today's video might be a slightly longer one because I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's the end of an era a little bit. We are definitely still going to be continuing decorating this island and I am still going to be doing it in an organic way with no time traveling, no treasure islands. We kind of agreed upon the five items a day from my spicy switch so I will be doing that but aside from that I will not be doing any other cheating, any other modding in of items and all of that kind of stuff. I have been trying to think about what to do with my other Animal Crossing island, Foxtail, because we are just a couple builds away from being completely done decorating on that island. So I think I may transfer this island over to that switch eventually, but I'm going to have to, I don't know, I'm going to have to give that a little bit of thought. I get so nervous about transferring islands from one Nintendo Switch to another. Even though I've done it several, several times, it's still a little bit nerve wracking. So I don't know. I have some decisions, decisions to make there, but I'm so excited for EP Isle today. It is about 6.30 in the morning. So if I have morning voice right now, then you know why. I'm actually filming this the day before you guys are seeing it on September 29th. Um, so you can tell that I am very much cutting this series down to the wire, um, but I'm very, very, very excited to be sharing it with you guys today. This island has felt so precious and so special to me in so many ways. Oh my gosh, I just messed that up so bad, but that's okay. We're definitely not gonna be getting that final rock. I have been trying to dig all of my holes on the corners because I know that that works so much better, but I gotta tell you guys a secret. I am actually so lazy, like just so incredibly lazy. Somebody commented recently and was like, you need to fill in all of those like dirt piles that you make. And I'm like, absolutely not. Absolutely not, sir. I will not be doing that. Also, I felt so funny because somebody commented like several days back that you can move your money tree wherever you want it to go. And I was like, oh my God, duh. Literally, duh. What was I thinking? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, okay, but here is the cliff that we built up yesterday and our incline has grown in and look how cute it is. We are gonna be moving another villager house over here today, which I'm so excited for, but I definitely did so much grinding to try to get that incline paid off. Now that we're getting to see the island early, early, early in the morning, I've gotta say, I love it. There's something so sweet and so special about EP Isle. It's just the cutest ever. I am going to dig up this tree though that's blocking the entire street because it's just ridiculous. It's so early in the morning right now that none of the shops are gonna be open, um, which doesn't really matter too much. We're really just decorating today and I probably will end up having to skip around a little bit as well because yeah, it's probably gonna take me a little bit of time to actually decorate, but yeah, the island looks so cute at six in the morning. I absolutely love it. It's just adorable and so sleepy. Even these like less decorated sections that we have are so cozy and sweet. I love them. Okay. So I do think we're gonna move Kat's house today because I'm thinking her house is the most like kind of sort of in the way. But the only other thought that I had was that um, Peck's house actually looks very similar to Mabel's house or to Melba, oh my God, I said Mabel. But yeah, his house actually looks very similar to hers. So maybe we actually move hers instead. Look at Stu over there. He is the most introspective little king on the island. Like he's always just sitting and thinking. Okay, so maybe we do move Peck's house because I feel like their houses would actually look kind of cute next to each other. Of all of the house choices that we have so far. He must be an early riser too. Yeah, I say we do that. I think that would I think that would actually be very cute. It was like breakfast ghost snuck into my house and blew breakfast ghost breath in my face. <laughs> oh, oh my. That sounds very interesting. Okay, so we get a little bit of money from that. I did also get quite a few different items from Nook Shopping yesterday. It was actually several days ago, to be fair. Um, so we just got a few different things here. And then I did order quite a lot of things from the ABD as well. We got a wind turbine. 
plain party lights arch, utility pole, a round street light, should be another round street light, and a beautiful statue. Ooh, we need to donate that to the museum. So after we get all of our fossils dug up today, I think maybe we should go and donate since Blathers will definitely be awake at this time of day. I cannot wait to get the shed because it is such a pain in the butt to have to run back and forth to get all of my um, items out of my house. So yeah, I can't wait until Nook's Cranny lets us redeem for a shed, but I think I've got a little ways out before that will be possible. I'm also hoping I don't sound super nasally in this video. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately, but I have actually been getting sick so much more than usual. I need to like up my vitamin game or something. Um, and I'm feeling like very congested today. I have a very stuffy runny nose. Ooh, we have a balloon. It's also like very high pollen where I live today and my allergies tend to be the most severe in the fall actually. So, oh my gosh, this is terrible. So I think that may have something to do with it. And I do tend to get sick more often when my allergies are really terrible. So yeah, a throwback dino screen, interesting. I'm just gonna run around really quick and try to grab all of our fossils. I don't see any more over here. But yeah, I'm honestly really, really proud of all the progress that we've made on the island so far. I feel like this island has started to come together faster than like literally any other islands I've ever done. I do recognize that we've been decorating in a more like simple style than what I typically do, but I still really, really enjoy it. Like it's just been a very satisfying process for me so far and I have been really, really loving it. It's been really fun to see how many of you guys are also starting new Animal Crossing Islands and also not doing any time traveling or modding treasure islands, that kind of stuff. And we're just kind of like progressing together, which is really awesome. I've also seen a few people mentioning like how difficult it is to decorate with very little items. And I definitely have been struggling a lot to do that. I feel like I cut a little bit of the struggle out of the videos just to make them like a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch. But trust me, the struggle is there and it is real. It is real. I felt very unmotivated a couple of the days that I've posted videos just because I knew that I didn't have very much to decorate with. But I will say it's kind of challenging me in a very new way and I'm very into that also I missed actually crafting my DIY recipes and like grinding again in the game like that used to be something that really annoyed me when I first started playing but I genuinely have missed doing that when Nook's Cranny opens today I probably will go and get a few of my fruits but I'm pretty sure that Daisy May is supposed to actually be on the island today and I haven't seen her at all yet Okay, so we were able to donate one fossil and then that beautiful statue that we got from Red the other day. So that's pretty exciting. I do think that I wanna go ahead and get some coffee since we're in here today and it's, you know, it's obviously very early. We're gonna get our coffee to go today. That way we can use it to move any trees around that we want as well. All right, we got our coffee and we're off. Okay, so I still haven't seen Daisy May anywhere, but she's got to be around here somewhere. We have until noon to find her though, so we definitely have a little bit of time. I think before we get too far on the island today, I'm going to go ahead and visit Red's Island. Red's Island? What am I saying? Carves Island and see what we can get there. It's really foggy. I love it. It's a little bit spooky. Very fun, and it looks like we have an opportunity to get a new hairdo today, which is awesome. Got an idea for a hairstyle I've been dying to try out. Hee <laughs> hee, wanna try a new look, Shug? I'll give it a try. I'm glad that we don't have to pay for it. That's pretty exciting. Oh my, we look like such a dapper gentleman. Slay. Honestly, this hairstyle is pretty cute. I do think I want to switch it back though. Let's see what we got going on over here. Um, oh, this one is a fake, I think, because of the staining that's on the corner. So we're gonna say no thanks to that. Oh no, it is real, it is real because that other one has that like weird platypus. Wait, let's look closer. 
Wait, maybe this is the real one because I'm pretty sure it changes it to like a weird looking duck thing. Okay, so this one is definitely the fake one. I was right. So we're gonna get this one instead. There's no way they can both be fake, right? Somebody's, one of these has gotta be good. I guess it's a great way for us to test it out. Okay, and we also have kicks for the first time today. I love his little camper. I think the setup is so adorable. His shop is now open. Hi, it's you from EP Isle, isn't it? I thought so. Good to see you, mate. Well, anytime I'm not there, I'll be here. Looking forward to doing business with you, chum. Now that I've never been a cool cat, in fact, I'm a dog, but even old Harv can tell that Kicks shoes are neato. <laughs> I cannot. He's so cringy. I love it. Okay, so let's see what he's selling today. I seriously can't get over how freaking cute his setup is. Ooh, we got some cute shoes, some fancy socks. I feel like the bear backpack is very cute, actually. Maybe we go, maybe we get that. Let's switch out our backpack and see how it looks. Oh, how cute. I love it. All right, let's see what Leaf is selling today. Sugar canes today. <gasps> we finally have sugar canes. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to get five of these. That means that we can make so many more recipes back on the island. That's so exciting. Yay. Awesome. Okay, I don't think that there's really anything else that I need right now. So thank you, Leaf. All right, I do think there's something in my inventory I may want to customize, though, that I got in the recycling bin the other day. Okay, so I actually got the recycled paper bundle, and I was thinking about, yeah, customizing it to make it look like either the old books or the dictionaries. I'm kind of thinking the old, the dictionaries? Yeah, I'm thinking dictionaries. I think that's it. I'm not gonna expand um, the last little camper yet today because we just don't have the money. We still have the exact same wares from Sahara. All right, I think we're donezo. Back to EB Isle. Now that we're back on the island, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and run back to my house and just kind of clean up my inventory. Oh, actually wait, first things first, I wanna fix my little setup over here and plant the correct things. So we already have tomatoes, so I'm gonna switch the tomatoes out for the sugar cane, I think. And then, oops, I am actually just gonna plant this carrot. Perfect. And then I'm gonna dig all of these up and probably sell them and then switch them out for the sugar cane. I'm so excited, now we finally have all of the different kinds of veggies in the game, which is amazing. And I may have to just like immediately go and sell some stuff today. It's gonna be just like it was with the carrots where I'm just gonna kind of like wait for them to grow in and then go ahead and replace them. Um, and then I'm gonna sell everything in the drop box, which I know you get less money when you do that, but I don't wanna wait for Nook's Cranny to open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. Did I maybe accidentally sell those trash bags? I think I did. That's so funny. What the heck? I totally didn't mean to do that, but okay, no worries, it happens. All right, we're gonna run back over. What's going on over here, guys? What's happening? Melba, can, I su can you suggest me a book? Oh, you read, Stu? That's rather surprising. Well, let's see. I don't know what kind of books you enjoy, but my favorites are Way of the Workbench and Be the Why in DIY. Oh my goodness. DIY queen. Disconcerning adults. Oh my God, Melba is such a Hermione. All right, so we're gonna focus on decorating Melba's house today. I definitely got way too many items to decorate her house with, but I honestly do not even care. I feel like it's still gonna be so cute. I kind of wanted to give her a little picnic area, but now that I'm looking at the space that we have to work with, she doesn't even really have enough space in front of her house for like a full-blown picnic spot. So I think I'm going to have to figure out where else we want to put it because I definitely got ample stuff for a picnic blanket. So we'll have to figure that out. I do want to give her like a little dirt path section in front of her home. 
I wish that this path had skinnier little sections. I've been saying that over and over and over again, but I mean it, I really wish it did. But we're just gonna have to give her like a little oblong path. I really do feel I probably will end up switching this out if I'm being quite honest with you. Oh, it looks so cute, stop. I love it. I love it to be like that. Okay, that looks very cute to me. So we gotta make the pathing go differently, I think. Which is fine, that's no big deal. We will just make it curve to the other side. Okay, I have to remember how I did that because I actually really love the way that le looks. And I was thinking about making it look like the villagers are putting their trash out. You know, we recycle on EP Isle. We do, we do, it's very important. So I was thinking about doing that and then maybe putting some trash bags out in front because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes you have to put some stuff on the side. They just got their little trash sitting out there, you know? Like, look at us go. We're, we are caring for the environment, I guess. I, <laughs> maybe I'm taking it a little bit too far, but you know. Um, I do also want to use some vertical board fencing just to provide like a little backdrop right here, maybe. Maybe I'll move it forward just a little bit, so it'll be like right here. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like the look of that. And then what else do I have in my inventory? I thought I grabbed a barrel, and I sure did. Maybe we'll just tuck that back there. Does it look weird because we've got two barrels? Or can we make it work? You know what, actually? Better yet, maybe we do a utility bowl here. Ooh, yay, I like that so much better. Okay, that's very fun. I did get the plain party lights, but I'm feeling like they are probably not gonna work in this space. I wonder if they could go back here though. Might be like kind of a fun little entrance to the beach. Oh yeah, I love that actually. I think that's so cute. Does it look weird with the double lights in the background? It actually might just look really cute at night. And then I think over here is gonna be like a very small picnic area. So maybe I can start laying down some picnic codes for that. I actually am kind of wondering if I can incorporate this rectangle code with the round code. I wonder how I would do that. So maybe I'll start by laying this one. And then maybe, and I don't know if this is gonna look good, I can just kinda put one here. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I can hear Melba's little toe beams. She's adorable. Okay, so then I do have this side like little tassel. I wonder how that would look. Nope, it's not very convincing because I need to be able to put the other tassel here. So then maybe we do, either we just leave good enough alone or we can just put it here like this. Mm, I don't know that I super love the look of that. So I think we are gonna go with just this one blanket all by itself. I think that will be good enough. Oh, got that little bell cricket hanging out here. That's okay, he can hang out. He's a cutie. Actually, Oh, I don't have my net with me. I was like, maybe we could catch him. Okay, so I do need to go and customize a few things to use. Oh, hi, Peck. I do think I want to maybe put the clothesline back here. So I think that'll add a little bit of height. Kind of balance off the rocking chair with the utility pole. Actually, that's kind of nice, just right there. And then we've got enough space to put maybe a couple other things here. Maybe the wooden stool. And then what could we put on it? I did get a bonsai tree. I feel like that would look kind of cute on it. Hmm. I think I like it better like that. Maybe I just put like a simple pine cone on it. I think I like that better. And then maybe we can just put a weed here. Whoops. Can't put anything there. Oh, interesting. Fun. So I'll just put a plant here instead. Perfect. 
Maybe we can put a weed here though. This side, this side is kind of screaming for a barrel, I think. Ooh, maybe I put the chiffalera down. Cute. And then what can we put? We'll do the barrel. Ooh, I love that we can kind of offset it a little bit so it's not right in front of the chiffalera. Maybe we do the floating biotope planter. Oh, that's cute. She's looking very like, like she loves plants. I love it. And then I'll just put a weed here. Okay, I really like that. So I did also get a pile of leaves so that we could kind of blend in this path right here. Cause I don't think it's quite enough for me to be able to like put a real pathing there. Actually, you know what? We do have that brick code. That actually might work kind of perfectly here because we can almost blend the brick into where we made the other pathing stop. I wonder how that would look. Okay, I think I actually kind of love how that looks. So we do also have Daisy May over here looking so cute. Hello there, I'm Daisy May. I'm helping Graham Graham Joan out selling her grown garden grown turnips. I'm here every Sunday morning selling turnips. So swing on by and see me when you can. All right, we finally managed to buy some turnips from Daisy May. I love it. Okay, I do also really enjoy the way that that looks right there where it's just sort of like blends into the dirt path. So I think that's gonna be very nice. And I'm wondering if we couldn't just like add a little bit of fencing right here. And then I do have a hay bed that I think I picked up. So we'll just plop that down. Cute. And then maybe I can layer it with a bush and maybe just like a flower or a weed. Okay, cute. I did wanna to try to start incorporating the vines too, just cause I like the look of them. So we're gonna plop one over there. You can kind of see it better, maybe. Oops. Maybe on this other side, I'll also try to put a fence. See how it looks. Well, that's kind of cute, actually. We don't want to have any landslides happening. So, yeah, I don't mind that. Ooh, and I do have a garden rock, so I think I'm just going to plop that there. That should fill up the space pretty nicely. And then I do, do still think I want to use the uh, pile of leaves just to kind of help add a little bit more interest to the way the pathing looks here. And I think that's so perfect. We love it. Okay, I did grab a couple of things to decorate the picnic area in front. So we're gonna go ahead and place those. A little wooden box. Oh, I definitely have to go get that at some point. So I picked up this carton beverage because I thought having some like milk and bread would look kind of cute. Adorable. Okay, we're gonna have to grab this really quick. I love getting the presents. I feel like it's such a fun surprise. Also, look at the butterflies. There are so many butterflies out right now. This is crazy. Oh, we got a ranch wardrobe. How cute. I think the ranch set is adorable. I love it. Okay, so maybe if I push these a little bit closer and then I'll lay the book down somewhere. Okay, so I did grab some scattered papers, so maybe we can put those over on this side just to give that pathing a little bit more visual interest. I think that's pretty cute. We don't know exactly where we want this side to go yet, so I think what we're gonna do is grab Peck's house and go ahead and move it so that tomorrow we can actually see how this little neighborhood is gonna look. Okay, so we got Peck's house. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here and see how his house is going to look. So we do need to shift it forward a little bit because I want it to be symmetrical with Melba's house as much as possible. And there it is. This is the spot. Okay, so cute. All right, so we actually can do a little bit of preemptive decorating of his home here. 
I may need to run back to my house and grab a few more things, but I think we'll just go ahead and put the Monstera back here. I think that will be kind of cute. And then I think I may just put like a bush and a flower as well. All right, I grabbed a few more items and I also grabbed a few like bushes and things like that to go ahead and put like on the cliffs around this area just to try to make it look a little bit more finished off. I did grab a barrel. I'm thinking that maybe I'll just put the bonsai tree on top of it. Like it gives just, I don't know. It's just a nice surface to be able to put things on, honestly. So I think we'll do that wherever it is. There it is. So eventually I do want to go ahead and have some pathing here. Some of it might get erased once this house actually spawns in this location, but I don't mind too much. I think it's going to be just fine in the very end. So we're going to let it happen. It's going to be a very small sort of like awkward amount of dirt pathing though. Just kind of make it extend this way. It's going to be just like a little blob. I can't get over how cute they are admiring this new little area. I love how every time you go to decorate, your villagers are just so invested and so interested in what you're doing. I think it's so freaking cute. So far, I am just loving the aesthetic on this island though. Like it's not too overly decorated. Like it's really just enough, you know? Like it's just so cute. All right, I got a little log stool and I think that what I'm gonna do is just like pull it over this way like that. I don't like when things are like all in a line. I feel like it starts looking a little funky. So I try to vary it a little and we'll just put some shoes on it. I think that's so cute. And then over here, I'm just going to go ahead and plop down a bush and another flower. And then maybe we can just drop a pine cone here or maybe just a weed. That's fun. I did also grab, oh my goodness, they're just like going crazy right now. I did go ahead and grab another garbage bin because I do want to make it look like they're putting their trash out. I think that's so cute. Um, and then maybe we'll do like a little cardboard box behind it. Okay, so I love the little gyroid on top of the cardboard box. I think it's so cute. So we're gonna leave him there. And then over here, I think we're just gonna do like a simple bush, maybe put this garden rock that I made, which I think is kind of fun. Just tuck it in there and I'll finish it off with a little weed. Perfect, nothing too crazy to see here. Um, okay, so since this area is looking a little barren, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the pine cones and just drop it. Yeah, and I feel like that adds just enough. Cute, I love it. Okay, so we do have a little bit of decorating to do back in these areas. I'm not gonna go too crazy right now though with the items that we have. So I think we're just gonna jump up here and throw just a few bushes and a few flowers in this space just to give it a little something. I'm kind of loving the look of having the cliffs be less decorated actually. So I'm trying to kind of roll with that. And then maybe actually I can put a little bit of fencing here as well, just to kind of like add a little bit more of a backdrop. So maybe we'll put it behind, or maybe just like right here. Okay, so I think that I'm pretty content with where we are with this area for today. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm so excited to see Peck's house moving in tomorrow. I think that's going to be super fun. And I'm just generally really happy about the progress that we're making on the island so far. We did get apples finally, which is super awesome. I feel like this little space here would be like the perfect little park area. So we'll have to figure out how we want to fill that in. This part here is probably just gonna go straight to the beach and just be like another dead end. And then up here, we will like kind of start continuing the road. I kind of want to do like a diagonal bridge this way and I'm thinking about actually leaving my house in that location. So kind of excited about that. And then as far as this space over here, at this point, I'm thinking that we are going to extend the cliffs straight across, obviously moving Billy's house and getting rid of the river area. And then I'm thinking that there will be an incline going up over here as well. Um, or maybe this will be an incline going up. 
like this part here. I don't know, we'll have to see how everything progresses as we keep going on EB Isle. I'm loving it so far though. I feel like we've made such good progress on the island despite not really having very much, you know, items. You can see there's a lot of spaces that are still looking somewhat barren that we have a lot of work to do on. Um, but overall, I'm really loving it. I think it's super cute and simple and yeah, I'm feeling very inspired still. So I'm excited for us to continue to decorate even though day 30 is over. All right, that brings us to the close of day 30 on EP Isle. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and love on the 30 Days of Animal Crossing series. I have been loving it so much. This is not the final video. This is just the beginning of our EP Isle journey. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I will continue to upload updates on this island. It won't be every day, but we'll try to have multiple updates a week for you guys for your support on the series. And I will see you very soon on the next one.